A standard solution is a solution of known concentration, and preparing one is often the first stage of a wider titration practical. But when faced with the scenario in an examination, how do we describe the stages necessary to prepare a standard solution? In this tutorial, I'll give you all the guidance you need for your OCRA specification in A-level chemistry by preparing a solution of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed copper sulfate. First off, many exam questions ask you to include details about any amounts or quantities required to prepare your standard solution at its known concentration. So before we start with the practical description, be sure to check for this and then perform the calculation you can see on screen now to deduce the mass of solid required to prepare our standard solution. Here I'm using hydrated copper sulfate, which is absolutely fine, so long as I then use the hydrated copper sulfate molar mass in my calculations to prepare my 250 centimeter cubed standard solution. Now onto the full procedure. Step one, record the mass of the solid to two decimal places using a balance. Step two, transfer the solid to a small beaker and dissolve the solid in a small amount of deionized or distilled water. Make sure to transfer any washings from the weighing boat into the beaker at this point. On a side note here, I often get asked about how much water you should use for this. If you're preparing a 250cm3 standard solution, I recommend using around 150cm3 of water at this stage. A few moments later... Step 3. Since I'm preparing a 250cm3 standard solution, I now use a funnel to transfer my solution into a 250 centimeter cubed volumetric flask. Step 4. Before adding any more deionized or distilled water to the volumetric flask, I need to make sure I transfer any washings from the beaker into the volumetric flask solution. Step 5. I now make up to the mark using deionized water so that the meniscus sits on the line on the neck of the flask. This is best achieved using a dropping pipette. Another side note here. This is where it can all go wrong. Using the dropping pipette, you go dropwise until the meniscus sits on the line. I often see students add too much deionized water at this stage without using a drop-in pipette and it can waste the whole process. You can't overfill this with deionized water. To finish, we stopper and invert the flask so that the solution is mixed and it has a uniform concentration. We don't typically suggest shaking the flask at this stage because it isn't a cocktail. That's it for this tutorial. Be sure to check out the video description where I'll paste in all the different stages that I've mentioned throughout this tutorial in preparation of a standard solution. If you did find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go and consider subscribing to stay updated. Until next time, happy revising.